air. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Philadelphia Phillies. Major League Baseball on MLB Network coming up right after this. Digging in now, Kevin Kramer. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Leading off tonight for Pittsburgh. The second base. Swung on but fouled Number off to 44. the left. These Phillies as they enter play here tonight, fellas. Well, they come in fresh off a victory last time out, but they've had a rough Pittsburgh. go of it of late Kevin as Opa. they've lost seven of their last nine games. Yeah, Maddie, the first game of any series is super important. You have a chance to set the tone, whether it's three game set or a four game set. You take the first one, you put that other team on their heels. The one two is a slider taken for a ball. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. Slider strike three called as the leadoff man is set down looking to open up the ball game. A chance here to check out the starting lineup for the visiting Pirates. Danny, who stands out to you? You know, they really need Melky to turn it around a bit. Watching his last game, he went 0 for 4, and it just looks like he's out of sync right now. Maybe this game is the game that gets him going. Here's Melky Cabrera. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. To third. On to first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. Batting third, the first baseman, number 55, Josh Bell. Josh Bell, the next to hit. He carries the eighth best batting average in the National League entering play. And he lays off here, but it's a cold strike one. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Ricky Holiday. Hey, d -Row, you better be up there ready to swing with Ricky Holiday behind the plate, particularly on that high pitch. Yeah, and I, I don't like that, Dan. As an offensive player, that's the one pitch that you almost can't get to with a power guy on the mound. I'm okay with you giving a little bit on the corners. But you start giving north, it makes it super tough on the hitters. Here comes another 0-2. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Hit to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Pirates. Now it'll be the Phillies' turn. No score. Chris Archer will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, we're looking at a real solid starting pitcher right what here. You, you take a look what at that Billy? ERA. Anywhere That's between no three stop. and a half and four. Hey. But I'll tell you what he does no, know how to do. Wrong. He knows how to get people out, and he can minimize the damage. He knows how to control the running game. He does a lot of things right. And if he does all those things, expect a real solid performance in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Oh and two count. Here's the pitch. Not what he wanted to do there with the slider as it misses well above the zone. I know you have to protect the strike zone when you get the count to two strikes, but on an 0-2 pitch that misses by that much, it's pretty easy for a hitter not to swing at that one. Ready to deliver the one and two. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Cervelli corrals it, and a good throw just beats him. Segura almost reached on the strikeout, but he couldn't quite beat the throw, and there's second. one gone. The but hold on here now. They quickly Big requested call. some time to take a look at the That's replay, good. and they may decide to challenge that out call. Well, I think we're going to have to wait and see what the word is from the dugout, but here's another look at it. Wow. Tough to tell if he was out for certain from that angle. I can see why this was a really tough call for the umpire.
So here's the signal from the bench and they will indeed ask for that play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive answer on this play. Line toward right center and he will make the play out there and there are two away now. A moment that now to hurt. check out the hometown the right Phil's field. starting lineup. Right. Who's the one to watch Dan? Well keep an eye on El Torito Oduba Herrera as this game moves along. He's having a solid year with runners in scoring position. He's hitting over 300. That's not outstanding or anything but he's consistent and that's what I love watching about this guy. His game is so consistent. Now at the plate, Bryce Harper, and what a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Yeah, and he's just off the league lead in the batting race. He's in the top five of that category, but he is out in front in home runs and ribbies, so we'll see if he can make a push for the triple crown. Hit well towards the hole. Kramer from the outfield grass. Throw on the bell at first, and his side is retired. He played an inning. No score here on MLB Network. Next to bat will be the Pittsburgh cleanup Pick batter, the number 16, the as we run you the numbers to see number the splits 16. between July and August. First delivery to him on the way. And that's in there for strike one. Velasquez has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. There's strike two as the hanging slider was let go. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but. He may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. Herrera's there, and that's the first out of the inning. So here's how the Phillies are positioned right defensively. Field. And let's focus on Gene Segura. Very athletic shortstop, has one of the best arms in the position, is really coming into his own offensively as well. So the bases are empty with one man gone and the left handed hitting outfielder Gregory Polanco bats next first pitch of the at bat and he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul the wind up and the 0 1 breaking ball drops right in the shoot for a strike still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. Here's the catcher, Francisco Cervelli. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. And a called strike down in the zone, nothing and one. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Hey, this boy ain't messing around right now. Attacking his zone, showing a lot of confidence in his stuff. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Down in order go the Pirates. We'll go to the bottom of the second. So here's the cleanup hitter, Reese Hoskins, Way to go. currently well, ninth Billy. in the NL in hitting in a play. There's no three. way you could have forecasted this kind yeah. of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. So a base hit here to start the that inning, and he good. continues to pile them up as we take a look good at our league team. leaders in hits Real so far. Good and as you see there on the graphic, his total good for fifth best in the National League. Digging in, JT Real Muto, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Oh. 
Real Muto behind with an 0 and 2 count now. Hey guys that's just a nasty pitch right there. I can't tell you how many nightmares I've had about nasty sliders and that's exactly what that was right there. Working for the punch out and the offering swing and a line drive and that'll get down for a base hit. Hey two runners on after back to back singles right there. They are in it. prime position to Don't put the first run on the board right yeah. here. William. Up next will be Nick Williams. He swings and grounds it to short. One there over to Bell for the double play. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was off to a rough start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. Standing in, Odubel Herrera. And he enters play today, currently fifth in the National League batting race. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. First offering on its way. Hard hit ball to second. Kramer fields it cleanly. Throw on the first gets him and the side is retired. One left for Philadelphia. We'll move to the third with no score. Lonnie Chisenhall will stand in. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading, leading off, off the, the third line. after the first six the guys in the lineup the have been retired in order. Lonnie. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. And the pitch oh. takes a pitch high and away for ball one. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. The 1-1 one, one. is You're swung right. on and missed, and that's strike two. Now a slider can't make it back to that outside edge and that takes the count to two and two now. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one make it four strikeouts already and there's your first out. Batting it. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on and he had no answer for it. Here's Addison Russell and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a slider and he gets ahead of him here 0 and 1. All over that one but a little out in front foul ball. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Just a touch outside one and two. Pretty good discipline right there with two strikes. That's a tough sweeping slider. Not many guys lay off that pitch. Lays off two and two now. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. Oh. 
Got him looking with the fastball as that had some two-seam movement to it. Two gone. He's really on a roll that right now on the mound. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to wrap Rip. up the last inning. Okay. And now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts and all. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings. And this team up there, they'd swing at a butterfly right now if it flew in front of the plate. Lots of swings, lots of misses, a lot of ugly at-bats for this team right now. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. Three up, three down, three strikeout. Back alongside Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskirchen, as the Michael Franco baseman. gets set to Mike start Cannon. out the inning. Go. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. One strike now from Archer. A swinging strike and now it's 0-2. Line towards center field. Cabrera is right there, one down. So with one gun in the inning, we'll take a look at where these guys sit in the standings, and I think they can pretty much start to think about next year because they are well back in the division ranks. So one gun here in the Philadelphia third, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Vince Velasquez. Here comes the first pitch. Line drive to center field. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. So the lineup car turns over with one away following the base hit out of the pitcher's spot. Hey, guys, he's got to feel good no about that Number right two. there. You know, you're not Good's expecting up. much on the offensive Jeez. side. He said to heck with that. He finds barrel right there. That was a bullet for a base hit. Gene Segura standing in. He grounds it sharply to third. He's got it. There's one. On to first, and he really paid the price at second base, but it's a double play, and the inning is over. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Three innings in the books, no score on MLB Network. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Kevin Kramer back to the Pretty top of the Pittsburgh. lineup as they're still the looking for base. their first base runner Number in this 44. one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. Oh, and they still have no answer for him up there. Six straight punch outs now, and there's one away. Oh, man, he's been absolutely getting now overmatched at the, the plate the last fielder. couple of games. Nope. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Standing in now, Melky Cabrera. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. This is fought off foul over to the right side. It's a ball and a strike. The 1-1. One, one. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Segura ranges back and he has it for out number two. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the, the outfield baseman. to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder no. might call him off, but he clearly had it under control.
Into the box, Josh Bell. As with two away, he'll swing and miss it a first pitch fastball for strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. and two here it comes oh and this one is hit a ton out to center racing back the center fielder and that'll stay in the park as it's off the center field wall and he is in the second with a two out double you could hear the solid contact all the way up here and I now thought that. we were going to have our first Number one of the game 15. right there gets all the way to the fence but it stays in the park so he'll have to be okay with a double Into the box now, number 16. Hey. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Herrera's there. And that ends the inning. Danger averted following the two out double. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. So coming to the plate, Cesar Hernandez hit it hard but lined out in his the first at bat. First Six delivery off. to him on the way. Slider, and that's hit on the ground towards second. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. Now batting, right fielder, right. Harper. So the base is empty here with one away and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielder. Throw to first will get him already two away here in the home court. The first baseman number 17. Three. Hoskins. So bases are empty here with two gone and that'll bring in a perennial MVP candidate for years to come Reese Hoskins. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air and he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. Three up three down for Philadelphia through four still tied nothing nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Clint Hurdle during the commercial break about the Pirates offense. And he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at bats. They've only managed one base runner in this game. So it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going though. This game isn't out of hand so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. OK, thank you, Heidi. Ball, Two and oh now. Remember, he was a strikeout victim last time up, but this at bat seems to be a totally different direction. He's showing good patience now, and he's got a real good count at two and oh. Two and one after the foul ball there. And he fouls this one off. Can't imagine he comes back with a third breaking ball. That hitter looked like he timed that one up pretty well and just missed it, fouling it away. Hey. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. Digging in for his second at bat, now Francisco bat Cervelli. Yep. He was a Francisco. strikeout victim in his first Cervelli. try. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Bases are empty, one man out. And that's in there as well. 0 and 2 now. Cervelli, a Venezuelan born ball player. This is his 12th season in the big league, so he's put together a really nice career to this point. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. He's got good swing and missed stuff in this game. That's back to back K's, and five. that was his ninth Lonnie. of the game. If you're striking out one or more an inning, you're throwing the ball pretty well.
in now Lonnie Chisenhall. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. The discipline has just been completely absent from this offense. Seems like they're always finding themselves behind the count, and a big reason why is they're swinging at all kinds of stuff that's not even in the strike zone. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Pirates. Halfway home, still no score. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Gabe Kapler during the commercial break about the Phillies' offense, and he mentioned they need to show a lot more patience with their at-bats moving forward. He talked Way about how it's been one Philly. first pitch out after the another, Kennedy. and that's been extremely Kennedy. frustrating to watch. Real they like to encourage go. their hitters to be aggressive, but to do so selectively. That means swinging at good pitches to hit, and given the eight first pitch outs they've hit into, that doesn't appear to be the case today. All right, Heidi, thank you. On the ground to the left side. Russell gets to it. Throws in time, and that's out number one. The left fielder, number five, Nick Williams. So one away here with the bases empty. And digging into the plate, the Texas native Nick Williams. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Cabrera's there, two gone. The batter, the center fielder, Ogubo Herrera. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. The pitch. Taken high and deep to right. Back goes Polanco. Still ranging back. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A solo home run here off the bat of Odubel Herrera. Number 18 for him on the campaign, and the Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. Well, he was on cruise control, just needing one more out to get out of the inning, but he came up with a plan. Base is empty. He didn't have to think about shooting one to the opposite field or shortening the swing to move the runners. He just wound up and let a rip. A solo shot as the result. Standing in now, Michael Franco. Oh, there it goes. In the air to left center, and you can forget about this one. Back-to-back -back home runs. It's a solo shot here for Michael Franco. Number 17 for him on the season as the Phillies have taken a 2 to nothing lead. Well, you just don't see that too often. Back-to-back -back dingers on back-to-back -back pitches. I mean, that's kind of a definition of instant offense, if you ask me. Up next for Philadelphia. The Into the box, Vince Velasquez. Oh. Out in front oh, of it, yeah. strike one. One strike now from Archer. Pulls this one in the air out to left. And Chisenhall will make the catch, and the side is retired. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. Five innings complete. Philadelphia's on top, two to nothing. Striding in, Addison Russell. He starts off the inning against a Lead guy who struck hit. out the side the last inning. How do they get to Addison. him here? I'm not sure, Russell. Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count.
ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Slider, and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. These are huge innings for a team's morale. The pitcher wants to go out and throw that shutdown inning up and get the boys back swinging the bats again with a chance to capitalize and even extend this current lead. Hernandez backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. That, that's the exactly pitcher. what they wanted right. out of that pitch off of the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Into the box now. Chris Archer as with one away he can't make contact on the first pitch it's strike one no runs just one hit and no errors so far for the Pirates might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front and he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. He's just ringing up strikeouts Not left bad. and right. But what's number really 44. impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. In now, Kevin Kramer. As he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. So the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive. Well that's only the second hit he's now given up tonight and the, the first one didn't do any damage. Nope. So he's not sweating this nope. one at all. They haven't been able to string anything together. First pitch coming here it is. Now here's a slider that can't quite get back to the outside corner it's ball one. One ball one strike the count. Hit out towards second. And Cabrera is going to have himself a base hit. Hey, after back to back two out hits right now, this pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate. A crooked number going on the board. Hit hard up the middle. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Phillies two and the Pirates nothing. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Gene Segura. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First offering on its way. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Kramer is there. One pitch, one out. Every pitcher now loves back. to get quick That's outs, right? Pitch. How about that? One Great pitch, call. one out, a pop up to start the inning. Stepping into the box, Cesar Hernandez. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. And this is the side of the plate this guy loves to hit at. Hitting over 350 left handed, hitting against right handed pitching. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. There to make the play is Polanco, and there are two away now. The right fielder, number three, right. Into the box now, Bryce Harper. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. He pulls this one into right. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So he's aboard following the two out base hit and here in the penultimate Top month of the season Philadelphia. look up that word in your summer homework base, kids man. it's time to check out Three. the league leaders in team batting oh, average yeah. and you can see in fact that these guys currently lead the National League in that category and in fact lead all the baseball as well and that will bring up the Sacramento product Reese Hoskins he gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two out single yeah and that hit might not amount to much but 
Anytime you can extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. Drilled right back up the middle. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Hey, guys, I think the pitcher was just trying to steal a strike right there. Now I do bad. not think he the expected catcher. to get ambushed get on an me. oh, oh, get me over breaking Real ball. Yourself. But that's exactly what happened. Big spot here. First and second, two men gone. And in steps the catcher, JT Real Muto. Here's the first pitch to him. Line drive to center field. Cabrera is there, and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. Phillies leave a couple, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. It's on to the seventh inning now with the Phillies out in front, and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings so far. Ready once again, number 16. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. O2 once more. Fouled off. The O2 once more. He is swung yeah. on and missed strike three. Now that one away here for the Bucks in their half of the seventh. And the left-handed hitting outfielder Gregory Polanco bats next. 0-1 count. Here's the pitch. Line towards center field. And this will be taken in without much trouble. It's an easy start to the seventh. Now Two better. gone. He but got that one pretty Francisco good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Standing in now, Francisco Cervelli, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Into center field, line drive, base hit. So the top of the seventh isn't over yet after the two out base hit. Hey, they say in this game you better have a short memory. Well, that's obviously the, the case with this five. batter. He came into that Lying. third at bat after getting his ticket punched twice and was able to get a single. Stepping in now, Lonnie Chisenhall. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. We're moving along late into this one, and it's no surprise this guy continues to pitch well. Over 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you're doing that, you really put the hitters on the defensive. Addison Russell. standing in Addison Russell and his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah Matt they've been really shut down so far in this one they've had runners on base but haven't been able to string anything together. Jose Alvarez will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seven. No balls in one strike. In his career, Russell hits in the 240s, so there's room for improvement in that regard. You know, Matty, I know his career batting average jumps off at the page, but this guy can help the roster in a lot of different ways. He brings value to the manager on a daily basis. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Pirates strand a couple. They're still down. It's 2-0. Ready for another chance. Nick Williams Lady will stand Lady in Lady against Billy. Chris Archer to get the inning Lady underway. Lady. First pitch on its way. Lady. Liner toward right center. Cabrera is there and he has it for the first out. 
jumped all over that Down first pitch of the inning, Better and fielder. he didn't miss it. Oh, Just goal. wasn't able to steer it in a oh, direction Brera. that resulted in a leadoff hit. Odubel Herrera will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here, a solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. Swung on and missed its 0 and 1. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Yeah, Matt, it's incredible to watch him go after guys. He's forcing a lot of early contact, and they haven't done a whole lot with the balls they put in play against him. Line drive to center field. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. Got to be a little frustrated on the offensive side. Yeah, everybody's getting knocks, and the batting averages are flowing right now, but nobody's come up with that big runner in scoring position, two out knock kind of feel that really is going to break this game open. Michael Feliz enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. And batting in the seventh spot, number 46, Michael. Into the box now, Michael Franco. On the ground is short. Could this be two? On the first, and how about that for an entrance? One pitch, two outs, and the inning is over. Down quickly go the Phillies, but they're on top, two to nothing. Now batting Corey Dickerson and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Somebody needs to go rattle the cage right here. Take the bats and start throwing them all over the dugout to get these boys going. If this continues I guarantee you you see a different lineup tomorrow. Very brisk pace to the ball game thus far. Two nothing our score as you get a look there at the line score to this point in the contest. Up next for the Buckos, Kevin Kramer. He singled his last time up. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. And, one. and a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Here it comes, 0-2. Line down the left field line. But this is foul near the seats. High in the air down the right field line. On the move is Harper. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now batting, the center fielder, Melky. Cabrera coming to the plate now Melky Cabrera in prior at bats against Jose Alvarez he's got a three for seven line he's set and the pitch fastball on the first pitch and it's taken for strike one this is line to left but this is right to him and left as he hardly has to move as he handles it for the final out. Down in order go the Pirates. They trail things here two to nothing. Your Richard Rodriguez please. is on to now pitch out of the bullpen the in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 48, Richard Rodriguez. Andrew McCutcheon is going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. Line toward the gap in left center. And this will be just what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases. 
And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. He just tattoos the ball right Number here. Two. Tried to sneak a Good fastball job. in on him? Three. No way. Drives it to deep Go left off. center field gap, and that was a nice job to get the barrel around in time to score that baby up. Runner at second now. Nobody out. And that'll bring in the middle infielder, Gene Segura. He's set. Here it comes. Hit down the third baseline. Marcus gets fouled. It's 0-1. From the stretch. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. And some action now in the Pirates' bullpen. They've got a lefty and a right-hander up to throw. McCutcheon leads off second with nobody out. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Cabrera's there. One out. Now batting. The second baseman. Takes off. Turn and Jay. So next to the plate for the Phils, Cesar Hernandez trying to add some padding to their lead in the form of that run standing out there at second base. First offering on its way. Hit hard on the ground towards second. From his knees, the throw. Throw gets him at first, and I'll tell you what, they don't come much better than what you saw right now there. The right field. Here's Bryce Harper now. Runner in scoring position with Sukhan. <laughs> Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch. Popped him up. Bell is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Philly strand one as they're unable to add to their two. Jared Eichhoff comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the night. Jared at the plate, Josh Bell. He's working on a one for three thus far. The first pitch. Now the pitch. Josh. Ninth Hang inning up. underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Eight. Oh, and two now as a curveball drops in there for a strike. And here's a curveball looked at. Strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys on this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and it backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Career line against Jared Eikhoff. He's 0 for 4. Curveball there. This one touching 77 miles an hour. Two strikes. Hey, that's obviously the game plan against this guy. Bury it in on his hands. He finds himself down 0-2 now. He doesn't know if he's coming back in there or going breaking stuff down the way. So he sets him down swinging. Number 16 is retired, and now they're down to their final out in this one. In there, no balls and a strike. Oh, man, he's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down, two to go. And now this crowd announced at around 22,000 comes to their feet. And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. He brings it in, and the Phillies have taken games one and two here at home as this one is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. Philadelphia used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Vince Velasquez earns his eighth victory of the season, striking out 12.